My, my name is Lisa MacDonald. I'm a Community Development Officer here at Community Gateway and I work in the Community Empowerment Team. My role is uh, mainly to try and generate community activity out there in our local areas and make sure that our residents are having an input into the way Gateway runs its services, both here, being involved here in our policies and procedures, but also um, developing communities and trying to um, get communities interested in the areas where they live to improve their quality of life, basically. Kerry Hughes, I run St Joseph's Youth Club in St Matthew's at St Joseph's Sports Club. I just do everything between me and my mum. We have football, we've had dance, uh, they have learned how to play the drums, guitar, different art sessions, take them on different day trips, every, anywhere we've been all, everywhere. Um, I'm Selena Hayes, Football Development Officer for Preston City Council. Uh, basically, we work on Inclusion through sport, so we work with young people to get them diverse activities. Every few months we ask them, what, is there anything else they want to do? Like they've just been doing a stint of football, now they've started on basketball. And that as soon as we've started doing different stuff after listening to them, the numbers went up. But we get kids from all over. We don't just get kids from Callan or St Matthews, we get kids from Brookfield. And, Everywhere. The main um, approach we use is our community studies. These are really intensive research projects where we go out into communities and find out exactly what matters to the people that live there. We send out questionnaires to all residents so everybody has an input in a written format to have this say. We also speak to um, the groups that are already set up in the area. We've got our website up and running. We work in close partnership with um, yacht teams, the police, we work with uh, YIP, we work with different community groups, we're part of the Mornock on Vice Group, we go to the jigsaw meetings. So we work quite closely in partnership with different neighbourhood management teams and stuff, but we use the website to get the word out there. We've got links to Facebook, we've got a Facebook page and a fan page for Streetwise and all different activities that we have in sport development. Um, I'm just currently working on a, a, a part of the website called the Technical Area which is aimed at managing coaches that we can signpost to where to get session plans from. We can post our own session plans on there to help them improve their coaching sessions. Uh, a section for the parents to go to to find local teams for the daughters, sons, whoever needs a team and uh, also for the players we're looking at so they can get to the league table, see how the team's doing in the league. Kids aren't, they don't see them standing about as much. Well, the kids we'd get in, we don't. And at the start, you could see them like the little ones started to get a bit where they could get into stuff like that, but now they're not. They're not it's not as scared, you don't feel as scared to walk through where you have to go because there's stuff for them to do and they're not finding other stuff to keep themselves occupied. So, do you think one of the main reasons there were problems before is because? The kids didn't have anything to do though. Just well, they, there was stuff there, but stuff they might not have wanted to do. If you listen to them and you do what you they want you to do, then you'll get the kid to do and they'll do it. Uh, we do a, a panel session, which is a farm street soccer at Plungington Youth Centre. We've got about 30 young people who have registered to that. Basically, what we're trying to do with that is maybe link up a AQA award scheme which is a six, six, six week course, they get an AQA accredited certificate at the end of it maybe about drugs awareness or drugs in the law and all stuff like that so we're trying to link it in with issues they might come across at their age like drugs, alcohol and all sorts of different things and get, get an award in that to say we've got understanding that. So maybe go down a bit of an educational side but tie that in with sport. I've got to say though on the calendar state when you, when you look around there aren't massive issues that come come out to you and hit you in the face. There, there are youth activities going on, maybe um, not all residents are aware of them, but there are things going on on that estate to try and engage, engage with the residents. Um, it's just sharing that information, I think, and making everybody aware of it. And you know, the use of YMCA, for instance, what goes on there, and just making sure that everybody's aware that it's on for everybody to get involved in. Our key aims are to try and get um, the, the Callan community, some representation from Callan community into this organisation. This year, personally, for me, it will be increased girls' participation, 
help the girls into teams because a lot of teams are struggling. We have a few kids that um, want to take up sports coaching themselves, so we're going to see if we can put them through that and get them to do it, and then the, kid, the older kids will teach the younger ones to do the sport side of it, and we have a few of them that we've took on as volunteers to do the trips. It's just getting them involved instead of them coming and then somebody telling them what to do. They'll be with us as well, and they'll be helping with the younger kids.